This time, I'm going to make a fan art of the character Venom. The first thing we will do is to look for references. Artists like Ryan Benjamins, Jim Lee, and Joe Madureira. But you can also go to Pinterest, and there you will find a lot of free reference. The reference is not to copy it as we see it, but to get an idea of the pose. The concept, we should always try to achieve our own style. To work with the reference, I use this software, PureRef. It allows me to arrange all the accumulated reference and to arrange it to my liking. Something that is very comfortable for me, because I don't have to be opening image by image. Simply arrange them to my liking, or even save that selection. In the description of the video, I leave the download link in case you are interested. I'm going to use a regular white cardboard, fairly waterproof, a 0.7 mechanical pencil, and eraser. We mark a diaphragm. Once we are sure of the character, the concept, and the pose we want, we start with the first sketch. I recommend that you study a little basic anatomy so that you can then stylize and minimize it to a comic style. When drawing a character in comic style, it is necessary to simplify the shapes and add a minimalist style to them. Let's take a claw as a reference. Instead of making it like this, let's make it like this. Less rounded and straighter edges. The most valued, less stylized line. Once the sketch is done, I will start inking it. For this, I will use feathers and sharpies of different sizes, thick to fill large areas and thin to make lines. You can find them on Amazon or in any drawing supplies store. When inking, basically what we will do is to enhance the drawing. But instead of using lines as in traditional drawing, we will use stains to achieve the volumes. Something I do is that after I have made a stain, I start to make several lines in favor of the volume to degrade the stain a little bit. We can also use the finger.
We erase all traces of pencil. Now we are going to apply some effects to give it more expressiveness and richness. For this, I will use white acrylic ink and brushes. Using the white ink with a brush and my finger, I am dirtying some shadows to achieve effects and volumes that are pleasing to the eye. Now, let's apply some effects on the background. For this purpose, I will use a tape to delimit the diaphragm. I also use a hard pickle to make stencils and splashes. Then, I frame the character cylinder on a piece of paper to protect it from splashes and other treatments. Something I use a lot is this spray recovered from a used perfume. I have prepared it with a little watered down ink, and I use it to make very cool stencils. Let it dry for about 10 minutes. And we remove the paper and the types that we place to preserve the diaphragm.